Hi, welcome to the She Moves Mountains podcast. This is your host, Kamala Murphy. Thanks for joining us today as we talk about some of the juicy stuff we women experience that makes this life journey truly amazing. You know, the the nitty gritty, the love, the loss, the falling down and rising up, the getting lost and finding our way again to our hearts, our happiness, and to the awareness that we can and do move mountains. Thank you for joining. Hi, this is Kamala. Welcome to this episode of the She Moves Mountains podcast. Over the last several months, I've spoken a lot about how crazy the world is, and we've heard it from everyone because we are living in unprecedented times. But I have to believe that there's more going on here in this craziness than meets the eye, not just in the physical world, but also in other realms. And something in me tells me that good is going to come out of this, um, even if it even if it seems horrible in the meantime, maybe we're, you know, we have to go through some sort of hell in order to make it to the other side. So one of the things that has felt important to me is to find things that encourage me and give me hope. And one of the things um, I found is a little book called Anyway, uh, The Paradoxical Commandments by Kent M. Keith. And what I'd like to do today is read a little bit from the book or actually read these commandments and then just discuss a couple of them. I think they have a really important message for those of us who are being called or nudged or urged or pulled to to rise up and be our best selves so that we can make a difference in the world, be the changes that we want to see. So here we go with the paradoxical commandments. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. And give the world the best you have, and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. So as people who are about moving mountains, big and small, these paradoxical commandments, they just fit, don't they? No matter what we do, if we've done our very best, you know, some people aren't going to like it. Some people will cut us down, want to uh, block what we've done. But our mission is actually to do our best, give our best. And I think this is so important right now. We want to rise up. We want to do the things that we're here to do. And it may be really hard. We may get shut down. What we've built may be destroyed, but we're meant to do these things anyway. And the other one that I really wanted to share about, because this is one that I really struggle with, and that's the people are illogical unreasonable and self-centered. Love them anyway. 
because I'll tell you, there are some public figures that I cannot stand listening to. I am appalled by when I see their pictures. It makes my skin crawl. And this idea of love them anyway is such a challenge. It's like, no, 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 they're, they're, if not evil, they're cruel, they're bullies, they're not good people. But this commandment, and I think not just this, but I think that we're asked, or I'm asked, I'm asked to love them anyway. I don't know how. I don't know how to do that. But if I'm willing to open the door just a tiny bit to find something, then maybe the door will open a little bit further and I'll be able to see beyond what my ego um, has attached to about these people and find a way to love them anyway. When I say that, I feel a little sick to my stomach. I feel like, oh, you're being a total Pollyanna. That's not how the, the world works. But as I say, if I open the door just a tiny bit and am a, at least a little bit willing, maybe good things will happen. If only that there's a little bit more love in the world. And at least that's a start. So what I'd like to do before I end is just read these again and hope that they land in in your heart like they landed in mine and that you can carry them with you throughout your day. So here we go. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you have and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. And if you will, just take a breath and let that move into your being. That's really all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be putting this reading in the show notes. And I invite you to put one of these commandments into practice today. Thanks for listening. Have a blessed week. Until next time. Bye for now. You've been listening to the She Moves Mountains podcast coming to you every week. If you're a woman who wants to move mountains in your own life, please make sure to subscribe or follow this podcast. And if you've laughed or gotten teary or smiled knowingly thinking, oh yeah, that's me too, please go ahead and rate the episode with five stars. It'll be a feel-good thing to do. Thanks a bunch. Lots of love and blessings to you. This is Kamala signing off. Until next week. Take care.